guys, it's Paul from It's Just Cricket and I wanted to do another comparison video for you now of the new Kookaburra Ghost Bats. Brand new in stock, handpicked by Amos and myself just last week from the Kookaburra Warehouse. Uh, and the Ghost has got two, well more than two, but here are two of the new grade options for 2017. The Pro, which is the very top one, and the one down from that, the 1000. And I just wanted to show what's changed and how they compare. Um, and, and yeah, um, firstly, uh, from a personal point of view, I wanna say that it's very, very good to see that there's more grade options now available in the Ghost Bat. It was by far our most, uh, most popular best-selling bat this year, uh, but there was only one grade. And there's obviously quite a few of you who wanted higher grade options, that kind of thing. You may have seen the video I've just done of the Ghost Light uh, bat, uh, which is uh, another of the grade options in, in a lighter weight. Uh, well, here are the more regulation Ghost, if you like, the, the heavier versions um, in higher grade willows. The, the Pro, obviously, grade one plus English willow, you get the full length Kookaburra bat cover included free of charge with the bat. Uh, which is a nice touch from them. You don't get that back cover incidentally for the 1000 grade bat. Uh, they're not as generous as some, I'll be honest, Kukuro, when it comes to things like that, but never mind. So let's get the pro out of its back cover so you can see. Now, we went through literally every single pro bat they had uh, at the warehouse, Amos and myself, the other, the other day. They're about 50 in total, so they weren't a huge selection. They never are in the pro grade. It's obviously a limited edition grade. Uh, grade one plus English Willow. This piece has got 15 grains, tiny blemish there, but no heartwood, stunning looking bat. Um, with the pro, you generally get uh, nine plus grains. Uh, but one thing that is interesting about Kookaburra's top grade, as I touched on in my recent misgrading video, if you haven't looked at that, do please give it a watch. It is that if there's no heartwood on these pro bats, they just were very, very little anyway. That Kookaburra, unlike some others, um, are very strict on heartwood and they don't like to see it in their top grade bats. They grade down for it almost instantly. Um, so this is an example of a pro, all sapwood. You can get a bit of heartwood on the lower grades, including the 1000, although this piece doesn't have one. Um, but you can see straight away the difference, the wider grain, this has only got seven grains. The Pro, that one's got 15. Uh, so straight away, half the amount of grains. Uh, in fact, the 1000, it's interesting, because you would think, given the price and the fact that it's only one down from the Pro, it would be regular grade one English Willow, but it's not, it's actually grade two English Willow. Um, quite a high price for grade two, I'll go to talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, still nice and clean. They are good looking bats. Um, but yeah, uh, you're not gonna get that. Seven, eight grains is typical for a thousand. Whereas Pro, nine plus, but you know, obviously you can get some really grainy ones like this in, with 15. Um, in terms of the shape, they are the same. The ghost shape has not changed. Very thick edges, mid-middle, great for all-round stroke play. Um, the spine doesn't quite run down all the way through the toe, but it's not exactly a duck bill perhaps a duckling bill if you like, you could call it pretty full. Every grade they're full, even the ghost light like I showed in that one. In fact, I'll bring in the 1000 just to prove that one there as well. That that's also very, very full. So if you're hitting it off center, you're getting an awful lot of wood behind it. Um, the edges is an interesting one because um, they're all really thick, like I said. But this particular one, this Pro, is one of the bigger ones we, we found. I've already got the caliper set up to the measurement. It was 42.12 millimeters. I'll just put it down there just to prove that that is thickness. There you go. This particular 1000, not quite as thick. I'll just show that for you now. As you can see, I'm not doing the measurement, but you can see there that that's the gauge for the Pro and there's about two to three millimeters extra. This one, in fact, is 39 mil edge. Still big, but yeah. The Pro's, like, there's not much in it. They're all about the same size, to be honest. Um, but this particular one, slightly bigger. This is 210, that's 211. They are actually standard weights for the Ghost. Most of them are coming around 211 mark. Um, 210 is actually a little bit rarer than I was hoping for. And 2.9, um, I know we found a few 2.9 ghost bats last year. Uh, they're quite rare across all grades, to be fair, um, at least based on the evidence we saw recently. You can still get a few in 2.9, but you have to go through quite a few to find them. So I'd say if you're looking for a ghost bat and you want 2.9, 
um, you know, you, you can't guarantee you'll get it. Um, so you, you could if you get the ghost light grade, but if you want one of the other grades, then usually it's 210, 211 plus, just to bear that in mind. Because there's no weight being lost, you know, you're getting very thick edges, you're getting a chunky toe, these toes are all around 20, 21 millimeters, you're getting a full profile, you're getting a conventional length blade and handle, even the shoulders are pretty thick. You know, you're getting big bats everywhere, so there's, the weight just cannot be lost anywhere, hence the, you can't really get the light weight. The handle on all the ghost bats is oval, which is quite interesting. I've heard that it's different in the Australian range. Um, apparently there's round handles on theirs, uh, but oval in the UK, which I personally like, I like the feel of these. If you're more of a top-handed player and you don't want to involve that bottom hand, that's good too. The grips have changed with 2017, as you can see. Um, you've got these V grips, it's the matching white colour but with this V texture which they used on the blade bat last year. Um, I personally love this, it's a lovely soft feel, um, feels really comfortable, uh, really good. Um, but yeah, um, the price thing is, is quite interesting, I'll do a mallet test in a minute but first I want to talk about the price um, and that is obviously the Prove, very top, we're selling $449.99 thousand big price gap 279.99 so there is a hundred and seventy pound price difference that is a huge price gap when you think about it and also it's curious how there's no grade one offering like I said this is grade one plus and this is grade two it would have been nice to have seen something as in some other kahuna uh, like kookaburra shapes like the kahuna where you do get a grade one option that isn't the pro grade that would retail around, we'd sell for around £350 mark, I guess. Um, but you don't get that in the Ghost, and that to me is a, is, is a bit of a problem, because really it also makes this one look quite expensive for a grade 2 bat. £279.99, in my opinion, is a bit high for a grade 2 bat. It's made in India, remember, as well. Usually, Indian-made grade 2 bats cost a bit lower than £279.99. Um, but if you wanted a higher grade Ghost, and you can't stretch the 449.99 of the Pro, which probably is the case for a fair amount of you, this is your only option. So in that sense, they're all, you're almost being cornered into getting a grade two bat, whereas it'd be nice to have had that 350 or so pound price point uh, to meet in the middle, possibly for next year. I and mean, obviously, to be fair, the Ghost range has already expanded very dramatically in one year. It's, it's a lot to expect for it to go from one grade to you know six or seven like I'm postulating um, as, as it is with the ghost you have the 200 the 600 the light the 1000 and the pro so to be fair that's already a five times more choice than you had last year so maybe I'm it's wishful thinking to think they could squeeze in a sixth one in between these two but I do think there's there's a market there and maybe for next year that's something they should be addressing in terms of pickup and obviously the mallet test, which I'll do shortly on both bats, the pickup is is the same on both. You know, it, it's it's really nice and light and balanced, especially considering the shape and how big they are and how full they are. They do pick up quite well. It's not the lightest pickup in the world, but they certainly tend to feel lighter than their dead weight, about half an ounce to an ounce lighter, in my opinion. Nice and balanced as well, um, across across both. So. Really, the only real difference between the 1000 and the Pro is the fact that obviously the 1000's high grade, you're going to get more grains, a bit of a cleaner looking bat, and you're going to get a free bat cover. There's not really much difference apart from that, to be honest. They are graded on looks. I'll do the mallet test now, I'll bounce the ball on both bats. As always, you work away from the toes to the base of the sticker so you can compare how they sound. Uh, this one's already sold, we need to knock it in soon for a customer. I guess I can start my knocking in process right now. Um, so, without further ado, here you go. in the hands so I'll do the mallet on the others and then we'll do the ball on both now you might expect the pro would generally be a bit softer uh, than the 1000 but in my experience at least based on the ones we've seen I haven't really noticed that to be honest and this is a pretty good, good example of these two that they feel about the same they're both quite soft um, but we'll bounce the ball on them now see how they sound here high, down low, 
you're getting ceiling shots up high and down low. You know, you know, getting good back. This foul now. Up high, down low. <laughs> you be the judge. I, mean, I can't. I can't really separate them in terms of performance. Um, and I think this is the same across across the thousands of ghosts stuff. They're very consistent. One thing I like about the ghost is, unlike some of the other Kookaburra bats, um, in my personal opinion. They are very, very consistent in terms of performance. You could look, like I said, we looked through 50 Ghost Pros. That they were all, in terms of performance, they're all very good. Um, the only reason we didn't take more is because, in my opinion, for the for the price, the looks weren't quite there on, on a few of the others, if I'm honest. Um, and, and so that that was it really. But performance-wise, they're very consistent. I think the full profiles do help a bit with performance. I, I always, always think that. But yeah, um, gotta say I love the ghost for that reason. In terms of the stickers, I like the 2017 look. Uh, you're still getting the white colour, but slightly different design. You can see more wood around the splice and the shoulders, which I like. Um, on the back, you're getting a nice embossing there as well. I think it's a bit of an improvement from what we saw last year. You're getting the toe guard fit as a stand on these bats, but no anti-scuff sheet. You might want to add one if you were to get one of these bats. We sold out of Ghost Pros. Um, they were all pre-ordered and all gobbled up straight away. We've still got a couple of thousands in stock. We are visiting Cookborough again in January uh, and are keen to pick more in, in all of these grades. So if you're interested, please do let us know. Put a deposit in on the website uh, and we can pick one out especially for you when we make that visit next year. Um, but yeah, love the Ghost Bat, very popular. Um, Cook, we've answered the demand uh, with these extra grades. Um, debatable whether or not there's a, the £170 difference in price is worth paying, but if you prefer a really good looking bat, if that gives you confidence at the crease, you can't underestimate the value of that, you know, and you'll certainly get a nicer looking bat on the Pro. You'll get the free back cover, like I said, uh, but other than that, the differences seem to be negligible, to be honest. Officially, this is grade two. Yeah, it probably is a fair grade two, the most of the ones I've seen. They won't be as grainy, but like I say, that's the only real difference there is, guys. So there it is, guys. That's the Ghost Pro and the Ghost 1000. Uh, we'll do some other videos of the lower priced Ghosts in due course. Um, you've probably already seen the one of the Ghost Light. If you haven't, please do give that a look. Come to our London showroom, have a play with these bats, or you can order them or pre-order them, like I say, on our website. We'll ship them absolutely anywhere in the world. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.